Hey everybody, welcome to the Overly Gaming Project, and we are here in another episode of Fishing Sim World, and we are in the Pro Bass Career, and we're in season number two here. We've moved up from the Amateur uh, Tour to the Pro Bass Tour, and we are in event number two, the Texas State Championship. Uh, so far in the last episode, we won the first event, which was really impressive. And I tell you, as a fisherman, we are kicking some ass right now. Currently in first place with 100 points. In between the last episode and this episode, we've changed a couple things in our tackle box. And uh, we're going to see if these changes work. We bought a swim bait uh, that we're going to stick on there. And of course we have a rattle trap and a green pumpkin worm that seems to be the key in some certain situations. And if you are new to the channel, then welcome. And if you've been here before, then welcome back. Don't forget to hit the uh, like button if you like what you see. And subscribe to the channel. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Uh, so go ahead and hit that subscribe uh, button and the bell notification hit that as well that way you're notified of all the content coming out uh, so let's before we get into the actual fishing let's get into the sponsors tab because i believe we have a secondary sponsor that we can pick yeah here it is we got a secondary sponsor we have 10 contracts available to us and this is going to pay us more money uh, and uh, get another little logo on our little uh, fishing outfit here so let's go ahead and pick a sponsor all right so all these sponsors want to offer us uh, contracts here I tell you what right off the bat just looking at these sponsors I'm gonna go down to yum because we are using a yum dinger green pumpkin uh, worm out there uh, on uh, these bodies of water during these tournaments and it's doing wonders for us so we're gonna we're gonna accept a contract with yum all right, there we are. The yum goal is to get within the top 20, and uh, they're with us for 11 events. As for our primary sponsor, Bait Shack, uh, they're pleased with us. Their goal is for us to get into the top 25, and, and they're with us for two more events. We can probably renegotiate. Well, I'm not really sure what happened, but as soon as we picked yum as our sponsor, a new event popped up in the uh, event calendar, in the tour here it's the yum pro invitational lake gunnersville alabama now i have not practiced on this lake i don't even know that i've ever fished on lake gunnersville maybe i had in the amateur uh, uh series but i'm kind of nervous about this it's only one round 20 minutes and it's at sunset so I'm not really sure. It says the rules, the highest score in the round grants access to the next round if applicable. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do here. I, I guess we're going to go ahead and start this event. I mean, certainly not going to skip it. It's one round. Maybe we'll just make this a short little episode and let's see if we can catch some fish. All right, let's take a look at our tackle box, the scribble special. We've got our spinning set up here with our yum ding or green pumpkin worm. And we've got our bait caster here with our ducket fishing uh, 320 reel. Uh, that's our bait casting reel. We got the Sunline FC sniper. And that's got our rattle trap on there in the gizzard shad color. And our second bait caster, same ducket fishing 320 white bait caster. We still got the Sunline FC sniper on there, 14 pounds. And we put on a five inch swim bait in a roach color. And um, I believe that's gonna catch us some fish. This is a tackle box that was set up for the next event. So I'm really not sure what's gonna happen here. Well, it's the Yum Pro Invitational, Lake Gunnersville, Alabama. Let's go ahead and start this event and catch ourselves some fish. Well, I'm assuming that's a picture of Lake Gunnersville in Alabama and it uh, looks pretty all right we're round one rules total weight of bass all right that seems pretty simple let's get out there and catch some fish all right you can look at the series rankings we are in first with 100 points and Jay Garstecki 
and Gray Buck, second and third place. And everybody else, they can suck it. All right, so before we get in this event, I will remind you, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And hit the bell notification so you're notified of all the content coming out on this channel. We got fishing, we got racing, we got all kinds of stuff on the channel. So I appreciate your support. And I go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment below too. Let me know uh, what you think of the series. Any suggestions, any other games you want me to play. Uh, how's your uh, fishing series going if you're playing one? And, um, you know, let's interact and start a good conversation and community. Oh, it's round one. Three, two, one, go. Let's get into our boat. All right, we got a slow-ass boat. I cannot wait to buy a new boat. Uh, all right, here we go. We have been here before. I remember this lake. I'm going to take a look at our fish finders. We drive around here. Check out some of these uh, sites here. Look at this. There's a little patch of weeds right over here. Kind of think we could throw a worm over there and see what happens. Look, this is the yum invitational. We might as well use our yum dinger green worm. Throw it over there in those weeds. All right. Let's give it a shot. We're going to throw it right along the shore there. A 95% cast strength. Seems pretty good to me. Oh, gosh. We landed it right on the edge. Eek. All right, we're just going to crawl this bad boy and hop it over all the rocks and stuff. Let it fall to the bottom. Give these little fishies something to look at. We're in about uh, three and a half feet of water. And we are just dragging this thing right over all the stuff at the bottom of the water. About 25 yards out from the boat here. And a couple twitches. And again, we're in about three and a half feet of water. Just dragging it right across the bottom. Not sure if this is going to work here. All right, it's getting a little bit deeper. Now we're in about uh, five and a half feet of water. Still just a slow retrieve, dragging it right across all the stuff at the bottom of the water. All right, well, that one didn't work. Let's see if we can't throw it over here on the edge of these weeds over this way. Oh, 97% cast strength. That's pretty good. All right, same thing. Let's, we're in about five and a half feet of water. Let this bad boy sink all the way to the bottom. We're going to do a really slow retrieve and a couple little twitches. This is an event that's sponsored by Yum, and we're sponsored by Yum, and we're using a Yum bait. I mean, this should work out for us, right? I mean, come on now. About 25 yards away from the boat, just a slow, slow crawl at the bottom of the water here. There's got to be a fish looking at this thing, thinking to itself, hey, is that a real worm? I keep retrieving it in about 15 yards from the boat. A couple twitches every now and then. Trying to keep this thing right on the bottom. Alright, well that one didn't work. Uh, let's uh, we'll try one more time. We'll just kind of throw it over this way. Alright, 97% cast strength. Alright, right on the edge there. Alright. Now it's into the water. We're in about five and a half feet of water again. And we're just letting it fall and pick it up, let it fall, a little twitch, about 30 yards away from the boat, real slow retrieve here, kind of a stop and go, little twitches every now and then, I really don't know if this is going to work, but we got to get moving here because already, oh, oh my god, that was an awful, awful strike. And, oh, oh, he took it again. Oh my god, I can't believe this. What are we doing? Two strikes. The fish took it twice. It came out of his mouth. Oh my god. I just couldn't get a hook set. I don't know what I was doing. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, maybe that fish turned around and looked at it again. We're going to keep trying here. Man, I cannot believe that. First hook set missed. Same fish, took it on the fall again, and I couldn't get another hook set. All right, you know, we got to get back in there, right? I mean, we'd be stupid not to. All right, hopefully we didn't spook that fish away. 
All right, we're gonna let this bad boy fall. Now I guess what we gotta do is we just gotta keep tension on the line. Maybe we'll raise our rod tip up a little bit. All right, we're about 26 yards away from the boat in about three and a half feet of water. Just a constant slow retrieve here. And we are 12 pounds behind first place and we have already wasted seven minutes in this tournament. Oh, here we go. Here we go, perfect strike. Oh my God, here we go. Here we go. Oh, lower the drag, lower the drag. Look at that fish, you can see it. You can see it. Oh, come on in here. He's getting close to the boat. Don't you come off. Oh, he's running, he is running. Come on, look at that fish, you can see it. Oh, he jumped. Oh, look at it. He's trying to get away. Oh, no, you don't. Son of a bitch, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We got a good hook set on him. Here he comes again. Oh, he's going to jump. Don't you jump. There he is. Oh, we got him. Oh, yeah. Look at that fish. Isn't it pretty? A little bit of brown. It is a smallmouth bass at 4 pounds, 15 ounces. I, I guess that counts. We'll take it. All right, we're getting in the boat and we're getting the hell out of here. That's not the kind of fish we want to catch. I mean, look, no offense against smallmouth bass, but I'm trying to catch a big and big old largey. So we are just going to watch that fish finder. We're going to cruise along the side here. We're in about five feet of water. And there, oh, look at that fish finder. There are some fish here. Coming across a point right up here and oh I, I kind of like the way this is looking right here not gonna lie here we go oh this is what I'm talking about right here all right come on fish oh 100% cast strength that's beautiful all right same thing in about five and a half feet of water we're gonna let that worm sink and wow big splash in the water right there to the right I don't know if you guys can see that all right just start reeling it. Oh, oh, I got a good feeling about this. There's a couple twitches here. Make sure the fish notice this yum green pumpkin. All right, we got to get a move on. We got halfway through. We got 10 minutes left, and we are not doing very well here with the competition. All right, come on. Just dragging this worm across the bottom. We're in about five and a half feet of water here. A couple twitches. Getting close to the boat. All right, that was kind of a dud. i tell you what we're going to do. We're going to switch it up. We're going to go to this swim bait. Oh, what the hell? We're just going to cast it out here. I think we ran over some fish out this way. And let's see what happens. All right, 97% cast strength. That swim bait is in the water. And we are going to bring this back to the boat. Oh, it's sitting on the bottom. Oh, geez. We would like to lift this up a little bit. And we're going to we're gonna bring this back to the boat rather quickly. All right. Oh, that didn't work. I really should have practiced with the swim bait. Let's just bring it back in kind of a constant retrieve. And we'll twitch it every now and then. All right, we're going to keep twitching it here. I don't know if this is working. No, oh, this is not working. We're going to give it like a couple more casts. That's pretty poor, 87% cast strength. All right, let's do something crazy here. We're just going to do like a stop and go here. And that's not working. Okay, time to switch it up a little bit. We're going back to the green pumpkin. And we're just going to throw it in here. Right in here. I feel like this is our confidence bait. Alright, we're in about 4 feet of water. 30 yards from the boat. Same thing, slow retrieve right across the bottom. A couple twitches. Give these fishies something to look at. We have 6 minutes left. Man, I don't feel good about this at all. I do not feel good about this at all. Come on, fishies. Help me out. It's an event sponsored by Yum. I gotta look good for these uh, people or else they're not gonna pay me. And we're just gonna keep working this worm. It's getting closer to the boat. We might have to reset and go again. All right, reset and go again. 
Oh, 100% cast strength. That's pretty good. I will just let this bad boy fall. It's in about six feet of water. Wow, it's amazing. I see fish over there. And bam, come on. Oh god, it's a poor strike. That's awful. Oh man. If this is another small map, I'm really gonna be pissed. Kinda looks like it is. It's not fighting too hard either. It's just feisty. Wow, jeez, it is feisty here. Don't you come off. I know it's a poor hook set, but at least I can keep this little fish. Look, he's a tiny little fish. That is sad. Look at, oh my god, what the hell is that? That's awful. It's a fucking white crappy, four pound. That's my personal best white crappy. It's not helping us any here. Oh, that is awful. That does not help us at all. Shit. I don't care about white crappy, but we're going back in there. There's got to be a bass out here that wants our worm. Man, we got under five minutes left to go. And we are about 18 pounds away from first place. Shit, this is not going well. Uh, I guess you can't win them all, right? Oh, come on. Perfect strike. Here we go. Here we go. This is a good one. I got a good feeling about this one. Come on now. Oh, come on. Oh, he jumped. He jumped. Looks like a bigger one. I don't know how big, he sure is fighting pretty hard. Oh gosh. Oh, look at it, look at it. You can see it. He stopped, he's making faces at us or something. Look at him. Look at him, he's jumping, he's swirling, he's turning, he's giving us the middle finger. That's all right. That's all right, come on into the boat, fishy. I got something for you. Oh, come on, look at that, it's a huge fish. Oh, he jumped. Oh my God, please don't come off. Please don't come off it. If this is like an eight pound fish, this is the difference between 47th place, what we're in right now, and, and going into the top 20. Oh, please, please, please. Fishy, I will pay you. I don't have much money, but I will give you five bucks. Come on. Oh, here he comes, here he comes, we got him. Oh my God, it is a toad. Unbelievable. Beautiful color, too. It's an 8-pound, 2-ounce spotted bass. It's our personal best spotted bass. Let's go. All right, no time to waste. We're in 35th place now. we got two minutes left. Same spot, same retrieval, same technique, same everything. Here we go. Let that bait fall. Just going to start reeling it in nice and slow. And twitch every now and then. All right, a couple twitches, about 28 yards from the boat. Dragging it right across the bottom. Man, we got a minute 45 seconds left. Shit. We are in 39th place. That sucks. Man, one more fish could put us over the top here. Come on. Come on, fish. About 20 yards from the boat. Why am I talking softly? Man, I'm kind of nervous. We got a minute 20 seconds left. We have got to do this. All right, one minute left. Come on. All right, 97% cast strength. I mean, we need a fish to take this, like, right now. I mean, we don't have time to be playing around. We got 40 seconds left. Come on. I mean, I feel like if a fish bites this thing, we're not going to have time to get it back in the boat. We're going to have to step up our game here and reel it in real quick. Oh, come on. Here it is. Perfect strike. 20 seconds left. Get this bad boy into the boat. I don't care what it takes. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Come on. Come on. I don't care. I'm taking chances. Ten seconds left. We gotta get this bad boy into the boat. Get him into the boat. He's skipping across the top of the water. Four seconds left. Get into the boat. Get into the boat. Oh, time is up. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's frustrating. Around one weight. 13 pounds, one ounce. That really stinks. I don't know if that's gonna make us uh, any money, but uh, ah, let's continue and see what happens oh our current position is 50th that's that's a bummer well it's the end of the event we're still in first place with 100 points i, I think that that invitational was didn't really count towards the season here um but i really regardless wanted to put on a good show for our new sponsor yum well look at that zero dollars we did gain 250 followers though that's pretty cool we got over 3,000 followers 
Well, here's where we should be, where I thought we were going to be in this episode, the Texas State Championship. And uh, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do that in the next episode. And uh, this is a little short one. Next one's going to be a little bit longer. I'm going to practice with our swim bait. I might practice with a spinner bait. Uh, but the, the lake in Texas is really deep water, lots of deep water. So uh, i got a different strategy there. I'm going to practice a little bit, and we're going to come back in the next episode. And we are going to do our damnedest to win the Texas State Championship and keep ourselves in the top of the standings. Making some money from Bait Shack. We want to make some money from our spot, new sponsor, Yum. We're excited. I hope you guys are excited. Stick with me. Next episode should be out within a few days, maybe a week. I'm going to try and upload these consistently on like Tuesdays and Fridays. I hope I can get to that. I'm going on vacation, so I might not be able to record one for a few days. But I appreciate you guys sticking with me, watching this episode. Appreciate all the support that I'm getting for this series. Really is a ton of fun. This game is great. Yeah, so... Look, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out on the channel. And uh, thanks a lot for your support and everything. Leave a comment if you liked the video. Uh, leave a thumbs up. And um, thanks a lot for letting me be a part of your day. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you in the next video.